Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Happy holidays. God bless you. I hope you're having a God bless morning. Just a little peekaboo. I'm still at it, y'all. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still shopping, still trying to fold, so I'm still getting decorations going. So, not as you can see, I've not done a lot. Just, just a little sneak peek at what I've done so far. Not decided yet if I'm going to do a table setting on this table, but just to say good morning, happy holidays. Y'all know I got something I want to say, so I just thought I'd just sneak in here and let y'all sort of kind of see, because I... Um, Got a little theme going here, and I'm trying to keep it going. Um, this is my favorite right there, the Black Nativity scene. That is just my all-time favorite. Thanks, Kalila. So anyway, let's get in here in the kitchen where the real action is going on. So I'm going to get right here. This is my um, area where I've got my dishes. These dishes here will just stay out throughout the holiday season. These are my... I've been here these dishes, let's see, I've been here 30, 35, 40 years. They got a little chip or crack, but that's okay. They'll be all right. So we're getting ready to do some breakfast this morning. And I am doing some, yeah, I won't guess what it is, cream of wheat and beef smoked sausage. I've already done the sausage. Got the cream of wheat going, getting ready to uh, get the toast out of the oven. Got that good old thick cream of wheat now wheat in two ways kareem likes his cream of wheat with butter and sugar so he's going to have his nice cream of wheat with butter and sugar and i'm going to tell you a lot of people say just like they do with grits they have a hard time then see they need to be that thick in order to put sugar in because you know when you put that sugar in them they're going to thin down some so to get them like that i use uh, about three cups of water and three fourths of a cup of cream of wheat so it's nice and thick now, I like mine with the cheese and a little butter. So we're gonna have us some cream of wheat and smoked sausage, and I got some toasted buns in the oven. They coming out here in just a second. So just want to just come in. Oh, I just want to share this coffee. My son uh, showed me this when he had mushroom coffee. It tastes so good, a little pricey, but it's okay. Ordered, I think, on Amazon. But anyway, that coffee is supposed to be good for you, good for you. A little energy boost is all natural and all that good stuff. It's a mushroom coffee. So, just to come in and say a few words to you. First of all, y'all know, Pray Without Seasons is always on the top of the list because so many things are happening. People are, you know, they're rushed, they're pushed. Some people um, are not able to buy what they want to buy. Getting Some people not getting what they want to get. And people are just in a tizzy these days about being able to navigate through life. So I'm just going to urge you even the more during this season, try to focus on why we're celebrating. We're celebrating to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. It's not about how many gifts we can give or receive. It's about celebrating the life of Christ. And we got to get that now. I know traditionally and um, symbolically we celebrate, and that's good. That's wonderful. If we can handle those things, you know, we need to do it that way. But if we cannot, we need to get our thinking going in another direction so that we're able to navigate and not get all depressed and tied up about, I can't buy this, I can't buy that, if somebody's not giving me a gift, or somebody got more than I got. We got to get our focus on why we celebrate this season. And it's good, like I said before, to be able to give. And it's wonderful to be able to receive. But most of all, again, celebrate the season for what it is. Not, not necessarily we commercialize it. I know, you know, it's like everything we do these days seem like it's commercialized. So. We can't help that. I mean, that's just the way life is. But the one thing that I want to just impress upon you is to continue to pray without ceasing. We had some tragedy happen right here in our community. You know, it used to be we hear about this stuff happening in another state, another city, cross town. Now it's happening right in our front yard. Not backyard, but right in our front yard. So we need to, oh my goodness, just in the name of Jesus, just focus on praying without ceasing about all things. Give thanks about all thanks about all things. Pray for somebody. Do something kind for somebody. And start with yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and do what you need to do for you to get you going, to get your mind uh, on the straight and narrow. 
and to going into the right direction so that the things of God become the first things in your life. Read your scriptures. And, you know, if you can get, you find even a prayer partner, a church, whatever you have to do to get your mind going in the right direction. Because I'm telling you, when these things uh, set upon these people, I'm just guessing that they don't have any other option but to pull a trigger, throw a bomb, run into somebody, stack, whatever the case might be. Neglect whatever, be mean, say rotten things to people. Whatever that inclination is that is not right in the eyes of the Lord. So just wanted to come on here this morning to say hope your uh, preparation for the season. You know, if we, we know you, we know we're going to cook food. We're going to exchange gifts. But don't let it become burdensome. Don't let it become something that drags us down or become something negative. Keep it festive. Keep it. Uh, keep your mind like my grandma used to say. Stay it on Jesus. Like you know, the elder said, and I'm the elder, and I say, keep your mind stayed on Jesus, and you can't lose. It's a win-win situation. So, I'm getting ready to uh, dish up this food, uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy me a little bowl of cream of wheat with some cheese, and a piece of that sausage, and a couple pieces of that toast. So, guys, thank y'all for stopping by. Thank you for your love, your well wishes, comments, and your compliments. Continue to pray without ceasing. Stand in the gap for somebody. Do something kind for somebody. If you can afford to do it, send a gift. Make a meal. Do whatever you can do that you can handle. Love your children. Keep them close to you, your loved ones. Make amends where amends need to be made. Forgive somebody. You know, that, that thing that happened, what, 100 years ago, that happened yesterday, last week, or this morning. Forgive somebody. Get that stuff out of you so that you can focus your mind on the things of God. So again, pray without ceasing. Y'all hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Tis the season, y'all, to be thankful, prayerful, and giving. And remember to pray without ceasing during throughout this season. Uh, do something kind for someone, of course, and cook some good food and just share. So until I come back again, love you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. Toodles!